AccuQuilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. All right, producer Joe and I are back from Long Beach from the Long Beach Quilt Show. We had a great time. Um, check out our events page to register for a special show all about Long Beach. It is August 19th, right? 12 noon central time on a Friday. You're gonna see all of the quilts from the show and we have such great interviews with our um, customers. So many of them up came and said hello. Emily's in the house, how are you, my friend? Here I am, I'm doing great. I'm so happy that the AC is working. And, you know, it's, it's gonna be a little long, or... <laughs> little hot this week. Exactly. Just so you know, it was 78 every day in Long Beach. Okay, now that's just not fair. I know, it's just wrong, <laughs> it's just wrong. All right, where is everybody watching today? Judy is watching from Kansas. Mary is watching from Lincoln, Nebraska, just down the road a piece. We're glad that everybody is here. Beth is watching from Meridian, Idaho. Thanks for being with us. All right, let's showcase the new projects from our intro video. First up is Becky J. Okay, Emily, do you not love this? It's so cute. Okay, it's a beautiful table runner. What die did she use? Morning Star. Morning Star, and we're gonna use that die not next week, but the following week for a super cool color theory um, show on Wednesday. Oh. And it's part of our overstock. We'll talk about it. It is. Right? Yeah. So if you don't have the Morning Star die, today's a great day to get it. All right, next up we have Kathy S. Okay, it took Emily a minute to figure it out. <laughs> what is it, sweetie? What is um, it? Those would be half square triangles. Right, and why did it why did it create a minute for you to think about it? Because, you know, these triangles, they're I'm I'm usually expecting them to be in a square, but they've kind of reversed them so that it makes mm -hmm. this really cool diamond effect. And I've right. never seen that before. Right. And you could actually, instead of using half square triangles, you could just make it flying geese. Totally. If you could. wanted to. But I love the scrappiness and the border is beautiful. All right, last up, Michael H. Look oh. at how pretty this is. Michael, it's beautiful. I, we just have such amazing customers that make beautiful things. They really do. I love all the color that's yeah. just, it's just everywhere in this quilt. It just, oh. It's beautiful. Amazing. Quilters, if you have projects to share, you can upload them to our social media. Is that right, Emily? Sure can. Yeah, just tag us and we'll, we'll love it. Okay, so here is the photo of the day because we're getting ready to go back to school. Um, this is my mascot. I went to Fife High School just outside of Seattle. We were the Fife High School Trojans. We were great. Uh, tiny school, 148 kids in my graduating class. Oh, wow. So here in the, uh, so the question of the day is, what was your high school mascot? So here in the Dream Studio, we have a bear cat and a wild cat and a bulldog. Go bulldogs. Emily, what were you? We were the Raiders, the Brownell Raiders. Wow. Yes. And you want to talk about small graduating classes? Okay. 36. There you go, there you go. Okay, and Morgan, who um, monitors our comments, she was the she was the, the squires. squires. We had a whole conversation about what a squire was, and we decided it was an a night in training. A night in training. So, <laughs> in the comments section, what was your high school mascot, and what did you love about high? You know, maybe something about high school that you loved. Yeah. All right, this month's die to try is the Go Millen Star die. And I would love to tell you that you can get yours today. We sold out yesterday. Now, for those of you who got it, congratulations. But if you would like to see the Mill and Star dies made a permanent member of our die collection, go to AccuQuilt.com and vote to bring it back. Did you just love it? It's so cute and it's just such a simple block too yep. and you can do so much with it. Yep, and we've just had such fun with it. Okay, it's Wednesday so we have a little promo for you today. We are gonna give you free shipping on all orders if you live in the contiguous US. There's no minimum for that order. The code you wanna use is AUGFS, which is August free shipping. I know, I'm excited about that. Okay, so today, because we love to give away things, I'm giving away a go two and a quarter inch strip die. Now this is the size of strips that I use always for wall hangings and table runners. It's just a little bit smaller than that two and a half inch, so there's not as much bulk 
on the edge, okay? So quilters, be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails, and that way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. The amazing Emily will announce the winner at the end of our show. All right, is all back to school today. So Millard Public Schools here in Omaha, Nebraska went back to school today. Oakley doesn't go back to the 27th. Oh my God. I know, so she's still hanging out, <laughs> loving it still for summer. So today is all about back to school and we're using one of our basic quilting tools, the eight inch cube. Today we're gonna make the Go Pencil Me In wall hanging and it is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com and isn't it so cute? Here, I'll move that, Justin, so you can get a good shot of that. Look at that, Emily, isn't that so fun? I love all the colors that they use. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, so fun. Yeah, yep, okay, and so today, um, we are going to use the eight inch cube. Could you make this project with any size cube, Emily? Totally. Totally. Uh, all the shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes, okay? So you just have to adjust the fabric requirements. Um, now, I've already pulled the dies that we need for it. We need shapes four, five, and eight. And we'll talk about shape number two. We have lots of videos on our Facebook page and our website about cubes. So if you're not really familiar with the cube system, be sure and check it out, okay? Don't forget the four, five, six, eight, and nine inch cubes will fit through all of our fabric cutters, including the Go Me, all right? Now I'm using the Go Big today, why, Emily? Because we can. Because we can, and we can cut two dies in one pass, all right? Now, before we get started with today's show, Often, often, often here on AccuQuilt Live and on our Tuesday events, I talk about Pam's pickup truck, right? Yes, I do. absolutely. And what do I always say about Pam's pickup truck to oh, V-stitch? That you need your own embroidery. I need my thread. own, I do, I need my own embroidery file. <laughs> so, you ready? Our Diana at V-Stitch. Look at how cute this is, Emily. Oh my gosh. They so huge it. shout out to the team at V-Stitch for making Pam's pickup. <laughs> this is Pam's fabric. And I love the fact that there are bolts of fabric in the back. And do you see that the wheels are buttons? Yeah, they've got, oh my gosh, they are. I know, I know. So... And I love the stitching that they used around the edges. Oh. It just gives it so much, like, it almost looks like the treads of the tires. Yes. You know? oh it's my just darling. So a huge shout out to V-Stitch. I don't know if you can purchase it at AccuQuilt.com, but <laughs> I'm certainly going to make something with my block. Right. I'm really excited about it. And if you want that pickup die, it's in the overstock section right so now. So talk about the overstock stuff right now. What, what kind of discounts are we offering there in so overstock? So right now on the overstock page, you can get 40% on um off of items um, that are in that category. So we've got the pickup, we've got, we were just talking about the Morning Star. Yes. That's also on that section right now. So that is 40% off. Gnomes? Um, yeah. Gnomes are on the overstock? Gnomes are on the overstock. If you yes. don't have a gnome die, oh my gosh, you can do everybody anything. needs a gnome. Seriously. Right? You and can make them for all seasons. You can, and with V-Stitch, they just did yeah. these amazing embroidery files for them. The secret, by the way. That, whoa. <laughs> I thought I'd stop her right there <laughs> before she went on. I know, yes. right? For some upcoming dyes, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, yeah, so we have great, what else is on there that they might need? Well, we have, oh my gosh, okay, everybody needs the setting triangles, right? Right. So we've got not only the four, we've got the six, we got the eight, we got the nine, we got the 10 and the 12 on Excellent. overstocks right now. So Perfect. fabulous options there. So a great thing, and don't forget that free shipping, you, there's no minimum order if you live in the contiguous US. Yes, exactly, so perfect time to stock up on those. All right, we'll get you a Pam's pickup truck because <laughs> I'm gonna go make stuff this weekend with it. I'm super excited. Again, shout out to V-Stitch. All right, now I have downloaded the free pattern at AccuQuilt.com and I'm gonna follow said free pattern so that you know I sew together things right. So the first thing we're gonna make here, let's talk about our little blocks. Are these not so cute, Emily? Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> oh, it was such a great project, okay? And so basically what you need are two colors that are similar color, different shades. Right, so here's a dark green and light green, and here's a number two pencil, 
You want to make sure when you're cutting your fabric that you leave um, a little rectangle because that's how it's going to become the points, sure. right, to our little um, pencils, okay? So the first, so here I'm going to have pink. Look at how cute oh, this is. Cute. And I tried to remember to put like the darker one on the left. Mm -hmm. I don't think it makes the difference, but for me it did. So here's my little rectangles that I'm gonna use later to show you how to make the points, okay? So the first thing we're gonna cut are rectangles. So in the block, there are quite a few. Here is the eraser part of the pencil. Here's obviously the pencil, and here's the top of the pencil, okay? So for every block you need these four rectangles. So what I've done is I have taken my die, this is shape number eight, from the eight inch cube, it has two rectangles on it, okay? Lengthwise grain next to that lengthwise blades. So what I have here is, I've just measured from here to here at a quarter an inch on either side, rough cut my fabric. I'm gonna do it here. So I have the tan for the top of our pencil and then the eraser. This was so fun because I had a whole bunch of solids, right, yeah. that I was going to use, and I just had a whole bunch of solid scraps, okay? That's perfect. And there we go. And those two different colorway, they just, it totally gives it that 3D right. effect. Now, you can fan fold back and forth, but um, you can only cut six layers of fabric, and I already have four. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, Emily, I'm gonna cut just this one die. The next time I'm gonna cut two. Well, I'm cutting, tell us what people's mascots are. This is gonna be a great show, I can we tell. We've got some really fun ones. Okay, so Carrie's mascot was the Lindbergh Eagles. Oh, there you go. Phyllis was the Colts. Oh, there you go. Miss um, Brenda's mascot was the Lions. Oh, there you go. Um, we have the Central High Spartans. There you go. That. Um, oh, Jess was the Eagles. Oh, lots of Eagles. That's my favorite band. <laughs> One of my favorite bands. I and love then, it when it works out, Emily. It really does. <laughs> you guys are just on my wavelength today. Um, Miss Annette had the Federal Way High School Eagles. Okay, wait. Federal Way is like just down the street from Fife High School. Is it really? I grew up in Federal Way. Oh, my God. I went to Twin Lakes Elementary School in Federal Way. Well, we Annette, are kindred spirits. Y'all were neighbors. I love we that. Were. How fun is that? And I love okay. this one. The owls. The owls? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> now, we've cut our um, rectangles. So let's sew some together while we're sitting here talking about things, okay? And again, make sure you have a little leftover piece so you can make the tops. All right, so I'm gonna lay out my blocks. You know how I like to do that, that way I don't sew them wrong and 100%. Brock doesn't yell at me. It makes such a difference. All right, <laughs> and don't forget, hey, quilters, if you have questions, um, the lovely Emily can answer questions as well. We, we're not just here about mascots. Mm -hmm. Although the owl, that's just like, the I, owl is awesome. It just gets me to thinking, you know, when you're like running onto the field, like, what's your battle cry? Hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quilters, you don't get this at home. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I've laid out my pieces. What's your battle cry? That's awesome. <laughs> Rise and shout, the owls are out, right? I love that. Okay. So All right. Um, all right, let's sew some rectangles. All right, we're gonna sew from here to here, the long edge. All right, and hey, I have to give a shout out to Miss Erica. Last week was hilarious. She did. My goodness, if you didn't watch last week's show, Erica was here um, being the substitute teacher. She had a bell and everything. I love how Erica can have a bell and I can't. She well, had a little school bell. I mean, maybe, you know, class is in session. Maybe we need to start that as a trend or something. There you go. <laughs> All right, why well, I'm sewing, do we have any others? Though the owl is my favorite so we've far. We've got so many great ones. Okay, let's hear. Uh, we've got Cheryl's the Panthers. Oh, yeah. Beth's is the Griffin. 
Here, here in Nebraska, we have the Benson bunnies, mm -hmm. right? But they're the fighting bunnies or something, right? Isn't yeah. that what they are, guys? Yeah. The fighting bunnies. Because I feel like when the bunnies play the panthers, <laughs> there's just, it's just wrong. Okay. Oh, K's is jackrabbits. Oh, there you go. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Those, they've got some spunk to them. All right. So I'm going to use my little... Um, steam fast iron and our wool mat they're available on our website and I'm going to tell you to press your seams open and look how pretty this is our okay pictures. all right so while I'm ironing I'm going to tell you a little story we were in Long Beach and um, there was an entire quilt display from middle school students from on Alaska Washington from Washington really? State there were 20 quilts and they had cut the pieces and pieced it together and quilted and they did binding on it and the whole shebang. And I thought it was great because every quilter had a story of why they chose that pattern and why they chose the colorway. And so a huge shout out to those new quilters in life. I just think that's fabulous. That is so cool. All right. All right, so now here we go. We're gonna cut and sew these together, right? So here's our top and here's our next, all right? All right, Emily, tell Perfect. us about people's things. Perfect little nests. All right, we have, ooh, Lori was the red devils. <laughs> the red devils. <laughs> Is there, well, I guess there's blue devils, right, of North Carolina. That's true, that's true. I'd love to see the mascot costume for that, just saying. There you go. We have, oh, Dawn says her mascot was pheasants. The pheasants? The pheasants. I feel like in hunting season, there were like Elmer Fudds or something. <laughs> yeah. I guess he chases rabbits. That's true. It's rabbits. The season. pheasants, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, this one's cool. Sally's was the sages. Like a sage, like a, like a like smart an person. All, yeah, like an all knowing. I think that's what it is. That can, that's the only thing I can think of. Sally the Sage, tell us if that what it, is what it was. Yeah, Sally, give us Hey, Sally, more. send us a picture of what the, your mascot looked like. Yes, that would be perfect. Right? Because would you not like to be that mascot? So Excuse me, I'm the Sage. Right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, Sally, send it to us. All right, so look at us. We are just making pencils so fast. All right, what else? Who's next? We have Jean has was the Trojans. Just like me, Fife High School. So great. And Blue then gold. Gloria, we have the Edgewood High School Red Raiders. Okay. So we were the Blue Raiders. I wonder, wonder what a Red Raider looks like. Same thing, different color. Same thing, different color. Gotta be. <laughs> okay, this was kind of fun. Christina's, mine was a hall marker. So to this day, I don't know what it was. <laughs> a hall marker? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Christina, send us, take a little screenshot and send it to us in the comments section so we know what a hallmarker would look like. Exactly. I feel like that's the maker of movies. Oh my God. Right, a hallmark movie? Totally. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so look at us. Listen, it only needs two, four, six pencils. You could have cut and sewn all six of them the time that Emily and I are talking about <laughs> hallmarkers and sages. Oh, we have a great question, too. Oh, hallelujah. Tell us, the, ask the question. <laughs> Noreen's wondering, what's the biggest difference between the shovel iron and the one you're using today? Oh, so do you know? Emily, what would you say? Well, I'd probably say the big difference is that point, the actual shovel portion on the shovel iron, because it really allows you to kind of get really nicely in between, especially if you're pressing your seams open. Right. At least that's the way I like to use it, whereas I used to like to use like the more flat yeah. iron on, you know, when I'm giving it like a final press. Here, look, we just happen to have one right here. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so the shovel iron is what I use when I'm doing like the morning star. And I have a whole bunch of seams that I need to press open because what it's going to allow me to do is come right here and press this right open, okay? Um, today I'm using this one because those seams aren't so thick, you know? And so I can just do a little good seam right there or a little press right there. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. But this is the one I keep all the time by my sewing machine. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's just so handy to yeah. have. Yeah, and we put it in a mason jar because one of our, the first time I had it on the show, were you here and it was rolling all over? I remember, yeah. Yeah, and so some nice customer said, oh, hey, Pam, if you put that in a mason jar, it will stay put. <laughs> hey, can we get a shot of Emily before I continue to sew? So behind Emily, this is Pencil Me In? No, oh, what is this one called? That's, but it's made with a different dye. What's it made with, Emily? Oh, you're putting me on the spot on this one. So it reminds me, wait, is this the Dresden plate? No, it's a fan. It's a fan. Is it the grandmother's? Plate? Yes. Ooh. So no, this I is another it. really fun um, back to school project that you could use. So fun. And I, do I see setting triangles? You do. Oh. You do. So look, it has the six different variegation of color for the pencils. Look at how fun that is. Oh, gorgeous. Lots of back to school things. Huge shout out to all of our teachers. Okay, so now I've sewn my erasers to my pencils. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh and actually we have another good question. Speaking okay. of while we're, um, Jolie was quest wondering why you aren't using a strip dye for the colored part. Oh because we needed rectangles and shape number eight makes rectangles. Yeah. But I am gonna use a strip die here in a hot minute and show you a cool trick. There you go, just kind of saves you an extra step of cutting mm -hmm. the strip and then the rectangle. Yeah, so um, we only need six of the pencils for the project. Mm -hmm. So we could do up to six layers, right. right? So you could do one half of the, you know, orange and the, you know, or the pink or the dark pink or, yeah, whatever you want to do. Totally. All right, so look at how fast our pencils are coming together. <laughs> All right, now we are going to make some flying geese with a little twist. Now here's my pro tip. What shapes do we need, Emily, in every cube to make flying geese? Three and four? Almost. Three four and, and five. Four and five. Ah. Okay. So this is shape number four. These are quarter square triangles. There's a blade here and here. This cuts on that lengthwise green. It's gonna be nice and tight. We've cut off the dog ears from here to here is that perfect quarter inch seam. Don't be confused and think, oh, I can take quarter square triangles and sew them together to make half square triangles. That does not work. Uh, the bias is wrong. So when I lay my fabric down, I wanna find this nice tight, listen. Hear that? That's nice and tight. That's the lengthwise grain. Look at all this stretch. Yeah. That's the wonky end. So I like to take the label, put it at my belly. This is high and tight lengthwise green. Okay. Emily, what happens if they cut on the non-lengthwise grain? It's just gonna get it's gonna be stretchy in the wrong point. It's gonna be wonkiest. Wonky. Yeah, it's not yeah. fun. Yep. Okay. Here are small half square triangles, shape number five. So four and five in every cube make flying geese. So these half square triangles, just like the quarter square triangles, we've cut off the dog ears, we've sewn from here, here to here is a perfect quarter inch seam. So again, I measured from here to here, rough cut my fabric. I'm just gonna lay it down lengthwise green and I'm gonna cut um, six of those, okay? And I'm gonna move this so I can. Uh, before I cut, just a reminder, join Erica and I on Tuesday, August 16th at 12 noon central time as we add a previous die to try to our permanent collection. Register on the events page for the chance to win prizes. And don't forget, if you want the Millen Stars to come back as a member of our permanent collection, go to the website and vote. Okay, now, this is my big trick of the day. You ready, you ready, Justin? Okay, so with the go big, we can cut two dies in one pass. So if one die is 90% faster, then two is exponentially faster. Okay? Love that. All right, Emily, while I take my fabric and slide, don't lift, tell us what people's mascots are. Yes. Um, Becky's was the Jessup Jayhawks. They still hold the record of graduating with 93 kids. There you go. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, we've got some more Raiders, the Brookville Raiders from Jerry. Okay. Ooh, um, 
Let's see, MJ, their mascot was the Blue Devils and had 500 graduates. In oh, there you class. go. That's a big class. There you go. Brock, how many graduated from Burt in your class? 440. Yeah, 440, Justin. 200 and something, Chelsea. Yeah, 500, yeah, 500 wow. and something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to show you the super cool trick to make our pencil points. So you want to choose the fabric that is from either side. So what you're going to do is I just take a scrap. The pattern will tell you, um, I don't know, dimensions of it, like a one and a half by two and a half. I just have scraps, okay? So what you want to do is this is the point on the pencil, okay? And I'm going to grab my ruler and my marker. Emily, do you know we have these cute little markers and rulers on our website? Yes, when you were um, teaching me how to make the courtyard, we were using that to its Oh, the it. courtyard. <laughs> what a great die. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to come right here, line up the point with the um, ruler, and you're going to mark three quarters of an inch. Okay, because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my little fabric right here. So a quarter inch, see, oh, oh, hang on. I'm going to make sure we do it the right way, right? There we go. So now we're going to line up our fabric. See, this is why we practice, kids. Oh, wow. Hold on here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we marked the um, quarter inch seam or the the three quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna just move it up here, and I'm just reading my instructions, right? Yep. And then I'm just gonna sew along there. This is how we do this. I was like, there's a there's a problem here. Okay. This is that whole measure twice, cut once kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to sew here on this, okay? I'm just going to make sure, and then when I sew it, I'm going to pull it th over here. So I'm going to sew it from one side, and then I'm going to bring it this way, okay? So it will work. You know, when I was first doing this, I thought, huh, how does that work? And now I know. Okay, so I'm going to come just right here. And uh, Miss Jackie, while you're while you're doing that, Pam, uh, Miss Jackie has a question about. Um, she says, "Is there a way to get a, a list of the dies we own without having to go, go through every order? I have several duplicates." And so, Jackie, what my advice would be would be to um, make sure that you are logged into your AccuCult Circle account whenever you're placing your orders, because that's actually going to automatically place the dies that you have purchased into your product library on the website. So you can just as easily go through, right. you know, find all of your what's in your collection, make sure you're not ordering duplicates. Right. And it'll actually put a little green my at the top of the item page if you already own the die, which is really nice. And we have an app. We do. And the app, you can just scan it. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing to remember about the app is it's going to put it in alphabetical order. So the question you have to ask yourself is, like, for example, the Go Summer, you have to know the name of the die. Yes. So, like, the Go Summer Medley, you can't search for flip-flops, even though there are flip-flops on the Go Summer Medley. Does that make sense? Okay. Right. Okay, so we're going to give it a go here. <laughs> Since I've made them before, I feel like I know what I'm doing. But, you know, you, you can never tell. <laughs> okay? It's always a little crap shoot here. Exactly. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to come right along there with my little quarter-inch seam. I still really want to know what a hall marker is. Yeah, please tell us. Please tell us, Christina. I'm so curious. <laughs> a hallmarker. I've never, I've never in my life heard of that. So, oh, here, I should show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I sewed, right? So now I'm going to just fold it back. 
Okay. Well, that was easy. I'm going to press it down. Okay. And then I'm going to take shape number five. See, it works. Okay. So I am going to give it a little trim here. I'm going to sew the first one down and then I'm going to show you how we trim it. Okay. So this was actually the hardest part of the whole thing, right? Was figuring out how to make our little, little our pencil points. <laughs> okay? Yeah, be sure and tell us what a hallmarker is. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> All right, so while I, oh, here. So now we're going to take shape number five. See, it's going to line up there. Okay? Perfect. And we've cut off the dog ears, so now we can sew it. Okay, so what the question we get all the time is, which AccuQuilt products and dyes should we purchase first? So I'm going to tell you to start always, always, always with a cube. And if you buy the Ready, Set, Go, that comes with a two and a half inch strip die and an eight inch cube and our manual go cutter. Okay, so always start with a cube. You gotta make sure you have a cutter and a strip die. Those are like the beginnings. And remember the cubes are designed to work together like the four and the eight, the six and the 12, the five and the 10. Did we not just have a show recently? Oh my gosh, yeah. You, you <laughs> Did we not, Eric and I have a show about? <laughs> yes. Oh good, okay. Yeah. It, and all those live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So honestly, I would just search for cube and you'll, you'll be able to come yep. up with all sorts of videos that Pam and Erica have done. Okay, so I'm gonna press to the outside and then I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna do that and then you'll just have this cute little, see, look, that little bit of pencil. I tell ya, Perfect. I've traveled since I made the step outs for these. Hey, don't forget if you live in the contiguous US, we are gonna give you free shipping today. Um, no minimum order, so today's a really great day to look at the overstock sale, maybe that morning star die or the gnome die. We even have, I mean, Pam, it's it's bananas. We even got, we have It's have, bananas. It is. We, we have, have no banana die, by the way. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we Somebody's like, gonna ask. The prairie star, the tangled star, the feather, All the stars. All the stars, the feather star. Okay, the Ohio star. I'm actually working on an Ohio star quilt right now. And Are you? Obsessed with it, yes. Hey, is Winding Ways on there? You know what? It's not, but I would love to show you guys. So Yes, Emily for, has a little fun thing here. Uh, so I decided that I would take it upon myself to give the Winding Ways a try. Okay, so look at this. She did a good job. She cut out all the pieces, sewed together, has little notches. It's a little curvy, yeah, right? Yeah, it made it so easy, though, those notches. It was mm -hmm. like, you know, you line up the center, and then you just kind of pin from there. Yeah. And, yeah, it just made it so easy. Now, but we did talk about something. We did. We talked about you know how if I were to do this again I think I would do the background or the I'm going to call them petals yes in um you know the same color so right. that, that way you still get the scrappiness but you can still get the shape right a little bit so closer. that's the thing right is that you want it to be scrappy but you don't want to lose the pattern of the winding ways exactly and I think just yesterday we talked about that die on our show and Emily brings out a really good point that every single time you get one of our bob dies, make a test block. Because what you don't want to do is take all your good grunge and cut it up and make a block and go, oh, this isn't, this isn't what I wanted to make, yeah. okay? So in fact, um, for the color theory class that we're having on Wednesday in two weeks on our Wednesday show, we're gonna use the Morning Star die and I'm using some grunge, I'm super excited about it. But I used our Go Quilt program that allows you to take pictures of your fabric and upload them into the project. And I realized that the background that I used had too much um, uh, design on it. Okay. So I actually use, am gonna use a solid. Nice. So Go Quilt, it's a free tool on our website. There's the tutorial. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to trim your little uh, edges here. This is the only time I'm gonna let you use a rotary cutter, okay? So what I did was, here's our little bit of color. We've already added our little side, shape number five. Oopsie, it's not even accurate, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side. 
Ah, I should have done the other side first. It's okay. Nice it's okay. and easy. It's okay. I'm just going to come right here and do it on the edge. Okay. All right. Pam, have you ever heard of Lil Lonesome from Little Abner Comics? Yes. So uh, apparently Chris, that was their mascot. He said they had permission from Al Cap. No way. Yeah. That'd be like having Mickey Mouse. Really? Your, no, nobody has Mickey Mouse as their mascot. <laughs> Disney's never given that up. No, no, no. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Today I'm going to give, oh, we have so much fun on Wednesday. One of our two and a quarter inch strip dies. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuote website or on our event page for the chance to win. Okay, so my points are sewn, I pressed away, and now, carefully, you're just gonna trim, right? Okay. All right, once you've trimmed, you now have your little points for your ruler, or for your ruler, for your um, pencils, okay? So now, <gasps> there it is. look at how cute that is, okay? And like Emily said, all of our videos live on our Facebook page and our YouTube pages and our website. So if you want to go back, you can make it. Okay, just so you know, you could cut and sew all the pencils in the time it's taken me to cut and sew too. Mm -hmm. Okay, super fast project, really easy, great way to use your scraps. Maybe some, a fun gift for, maybe you have a family member who's a teacher. Yes. You know, I maybe you all... just wanna have it in your house during the school year. I could see like if a teacher were particularly, you know, at feeling adventurous, you could totally do like a cute little pencil for each desk in your classroom. Oh, you could, like you can make mug rugs. Yeah, or like a pencil plate, or, you know what I mean? Just Yeah, so if you had 20 kids, you could have pencils. Yeah, oh, that's a cute idea. And we've got those letters, the letter die. You could mm -hmm. totally, you know, put a cute little hashtag or you could put the student's name. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so I've added my last little piece here. I'm gonna give it a good press. And Pam, while you're okay. pressing, uh, yes. Donna had a follow-up question. Um, she is asking, can you add a die that you purchased at a store or got as, as a gift, you know, for your, your product Oh, library? yes, absolutely. And yep, you sure can, Donna. You can go ahead and go to your product library. At the top, there'll be a little register product button. You can just enter it right in there for you. There you go. And. Hey, can we get an overhead for a second? So right here in all of our dies, it gives you a die number and then a barcode. So with our app, you're able to just scan that. You don't have to do anything but scan it. So one day um, when Oakley was at the house, <laughs> I said, okay, let's just scan all of my dies. There you go. She loved it. She's like, you know, like moving to the, the next store. one. <laughs> and here's a little pro tip about adding dies to your collection. So the cube is, has its own number, five, five, something, something, something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you know what it is off the top of anybody's it's head? seven, nine, eight. For okay, the let's go with that, okay? The eight inch cube is five, 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 seven, nine, eight, okay? The dies within the cube are individually numbered. So five, five, seven, one, two is a half square triangle and it finishes to two inches. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna think here, okay? <laughs> so that is the number specifically for this size half square triangle. Can we find this size half square triangle in another cube? Well, yeah. Sure. Shape number, in the four inch cube, shape number two mm. is that same shape, okay? So when I did my scanning to the app, I opened up a cube, because I didn't have to do it, I had Oakley. Opened up a cube and she scanned these individually. Yes. Because if I do five, five, seven, eight, nine, it just says, oh, you have the eight inch cube, but I don't know the size and of the shapes within it. I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like the nine inch cube, I'm, I'm clueless, okay? So, great question about product registration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Emily, do you wanna talk about our blog while I press out our little piece here? I would love to talk about our blog. Okay, so we have a group of go-getters. We do. Who are basically our brand ambassadors who really champion, you know, using AccuQuilt. They show, they have so, so many great ideas and they're so creative. 
So our go-getters, along with AccuQuilt staff, um, you know, create content for the blog. Um, you're going to find a ton of exclusive patterns that you can only find on the blog there. So right. definitely a perfect place to check out. Right. And it was super fun when I was in uh, Long Beach. We met with uh, Teresa Coates, who's one of our go-getters. She partners with Shannon Fabrics, and she is fantastic. She was so fun. We had the best time. And then Carolina Moore, who is one of our pattern designers, was there as well. And we did a fun interview with Carolina. So it was fun to meet all of those folks. All right, so now we've created our pencil block. Now the last thing to do is this, and I'm going to show you here. Yep, you're, you're good right there, Chelsea. Okay, so right here you're going to create these little odd border. Well, they're sashing, okay? So these are squares, right? You need six of them okay. um, to do your project. Sometimes you can just use a rectangle. It just really depends on what you want to use, okay? But these are two and a half inch squares. And then look how fun the border is. So it's like rectangles and squares. So if I were making this project, which I, I did, I would cut my squares using shape number two, which are smaller squares, and then my rectangles shape number eight, okay? And then you can just cut a whole bunch of variety. They match the colors, okay, from, they're just left over, basically, mm -hmm. all right? Now, but for this right here, these are basically two patches, right? And so I'm gonna show you kind of a cool trick because maybe you wanna do all the sashing like this. Yeah. Okay, you totally could. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna move my blocks, first of all. All right, so this is just some white and um, kind of a cream colored uh, fabric, okay? Mm. And I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera because it's really pretty light. So what I did was I cut them on the two and a half inch strip die. I sewed them together. I'm not going to press them open. Oh, okay. Okay, and here's why. So I'm gonna show you. Now the trick I'm gonna use is that two and a half inch strip die, which comes with that ready, set, go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move the iron because the chances of me burning something oh, like I myself I are pretty darn good. Okay. Okay. Next week on our Wednesday show, we are gonna talk all about strip die magic. We're gonna cut, um, bias binding, we're, it's just gonna be a great show. So we're gonna talk a lot next week about the strip die, but here is the two and a half inch strip die. It has three sections of two and a half, and these lines right here, 60, 45, and 30, we'll show you how to use next week, but it's this one right here at 90 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my strips that are sewn together, and I'm gonna fan fold back and forth, okay? And, I didn't um, press my seams open so that I can get three folds back and forth, sure. all right? I don't know. And then we're gonna press to the dark side. And since I'm only cutting that section, remember quilters, it's only gonna cut where there's fabric in a mat. Mm -hmm. And I'm using my go big so I can turn my mat sideways like this and then watch this. This just makes me happy, okay? It doesn't damage the die, it doesn't damage the machine, it doesn't damage the mat. We get that question a lot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it gonna hurt my cutter? Exactly. Okay. Oh my gosh. So now what I can do is take these little pieces and now I have perfect two patches, right? So now I'm just gonna sew three of these together and then just show you how it fits along next to the block. There you go. Okay, really fast and easy way to cut two patches. Amazing. Okay. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing, tell us what people's mascots were. Yes, and actually you're gonna love this question, Pam. Yes. Susanna's wondering, what is grunge? Oh, Susanna. <laughs> okay, just let my heart stop for just a minute. Okay, Moda Fabrics, um, who make other fabrics besides grunge. It's not just for grunge. 
Uh, Moda Fabrics created this line of fabric called Grunge. And basically what it is, is fabric that has been painted and textured and washed. So when you wash it, it doesn't have that, it's not gonna melt, you know, it's not like paint paint, it's, it's permanent. And it, I love grunge because it kind of gives a distressed look mm -hmm. to things. And it's very modern and it comes in a bazillion colors and I probably own most of it. <laughs> so grunge, check it out. Um, you can get it, most of your local quilt shop will carry it for you. Go get some and then tell me how much you love it because it is truly my favorite. Well, you totally got, you know, put the bug on in my ear about it. And, and I ended up that Ohio star quilt that I was mentioning earlier. That is all grunge. All grunge. Mm -hmm. All grunge. There was a grunge sale recently at our quilt shop. <laughs> so I was gone. Did you go to the grunge sale at Hiltrick this weekend? I didn't, but I, I had a feeling that you would have bought everything. Well, I was, <laughs> I was in Long Beach, so I actually missed it. And then yesterday I was working on a project and needed a half a yard of grunge, so I went and got a sum. Love so, that. I know. All right, so what I'm doing is pressing to the dark side. Okay. And this is just an alternate way to make your borders that you want to do. Okay, on your pencils. Uh -huh. Okay, and then here's the bottom. I'm gonna show you. That was so easy. I know, isn't this so fast? Amazing. I think this is such a fun, easy, fast project. It really is. Okay. Cool. Okay, so when you sew this here, well, we'll just sew a little piece together, right? Perfect. And then Look at that border. So, oh, we have a few minutes. I can do this. All right. Hey, quilters, is there a local consumer quilt show like the Long Beach Quilt Show? We had such a great time that you would like to see AccuQuilt at. We are headed to Quilt Festival in Houston this year. Um, we're going to the Des Moines Quilt Show. So if you would like to see us somewhere, tell us. Um, the boys say that there is a survey on our events page that you can fill out. Tell us where you'd like to see us. That would be so fun. Because we're, we're starting to get out a little bit, which is kind of fun. Exactly, we're branching out, right? Yes. <laughs> yep. Ooh, Kathy has a great point. She says, this would make the best teacher tote bag. Where can I find a pattern to make this into an AccuQuilt tote bag? I believe we do have a couple of tote bag patterns. We do have a couple. Of, okay, first of all, kudos to you, because wouldn't that be fun? Yes. So I would tell you, hey, can we, oh, we have a minute. Brock won't, Brock won't mind. <laughs> okay, so if I were doing this for a teacher, I would put this in the center, okay, add my little, and, do you, and then add a, a border here. Oh, yeah. So do you not think that that's like the perfect, here, oh, no, so the perfect size of a tote bag? Because then you could totally make one for your teacher. Oh, yeah. What a great Great idea. So creative. I love our viewers so much. You yeah, know. and then I would totally create that on the outside. And we have tons of patterns on our website for totes. All right, so I'm going to add this to here, right here, just as we're doing our little thing here. Sew it right down. All right, don't forget to join Eric and I on Tuesday, August 16th. It's amazing how fast this month is going. Uh, 12 noon central time. We are going to relaunch a die that was previously a die to try and it's now part of our permanent collection. It's gonna be fun. Be sure and register on the event page for the chance to win prizes. Emily, what's our promo today if you live in the contiguous US? It is AUGFS. There are no minimum for free shipping within the contiguous US today. Free shipping, we love that. Yay. We love that. Boy, and today, if you don't have a gnome die, get it on the overstock sale. Seriously, and the pickup. I mean, you got And Pam's it. pickup. Oh my goodness, those, I, I think if it were me, I'd probably scoop up a bunch of setting triangles too, because those make right. such a difference. You can just change yep. the pattern so much. By well, and the fact that there's no minimum on that free shipping is amazing, okay? Okay, so look, okay. While I'm sewing, I'm gonna finish this little section right here. I'm just loving it. And again, quilters, you only need six pencils. You can totally do it in an afternoon. Stitch in the ditch to do the quilting and 
you have a cute project. But I do like the idea of tote bags. Yeah. That's fun. So fun, yeah. Put your books in there for the first day of school. Love that. We also have, ooh, we've got some more fun uh, mascots too, Pam. Okay, tell us the mascots. Janice, Janet's was the Purple Panthers. The Purple Panthers, not just the Panthers. Right? Oh my God. I love it. Wouldn't it be fun if you had the Pink Panthers as your... <laughs> Sure. That was the first thing I thought of, by the way, when she favorite. was saying that, was exactly. like, oh. Okay, so I'm just making my little scrappy thing here. I'm going to sew it, and we will be done. All right. Uh, Read a couple more, Emily, while I do this last one. Perfect. Um, let's see. We had one gal who said, oh, my gosh. What? Debra. Mine was the fighting conch shell. <laughs> Okay, Deborah wins. <laughs> the fighting conch shell. Yes. Okay, at least I hope she lived like in Maryland or somewhere. Say, yeah, Maine or like. Right, yeah, Maine or something. Island, one of the, the fighting conch shells. I want to. I'm going to Google that when I get home. I'm going to see what that mascot looks like. Because so you are the winner. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. So many kudos. I love it. Oh, so cute. All right, here we go. <laughs> so look at that. We sold our, sewed our sashing between and our sashing on the end and our points came together perfectly because we used our dog, heads, our dog ears are cut off and what a fun project. All right, Emily, let's announce today's winner. They're gonna win a two and a quarter inch strip die. Oh boy, oh boy, let's ready? do it, Pam. All right, we're ready. Okay. All right, the winner of the strip die, drum roll, please. Vanita Y of Pinellas Park, Florida. Congratulations, Vanita, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. All right, so next week on AccuQuilt Live, we are gonna take a look, an in-depth look at strip dye magic. We are gonna cut so many things. We're gonna cut bias binding, we're gonna show you um, some tips and tricks with your strip dye. We are gonna make borders, because that's a question people ask all the time. They're like, I finished my quilt, what can I do to kind of give it a fancy border? We're gonna totally do that. So you wanna register on the event page for the chance to win prizes. Definitely. Next week's gonna be great. And then the following week, we're gonna make morning stars. So make sure and get one if you don't have one yet. It's part of the overstock. It so. sure is. <laughs> all right, a huge shout out to our team. So offsite, we have Morgan and Lauren. Right? Yep. All right. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Chelsea and Brock, who is producing today. Good job, Brock. Justin's running our camera, and of course, the amazing Emily is here. Joe is off today. Hey, Joe, hope you're watching the show. On behalf of our entire team, I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.